ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு விவித் கெமி யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் வித்யாஸ்ரீ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் ஆசிட்ஸ் அண்ட் தியர் ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் தி கான்செப்ட் இஸ் வெரி ஈஸி அண்ட் சிம்பிள் எவ்ரி இயர் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி அதர் கொஷின்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு ஆசிட்ஸ் ஆர் தியர் ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் ஆஸ்ட் இன் கர்நாடக டிடி எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஆல்சோ இன் தி மாடல் கொஷின் பேப்பர் ஆஃப் திஸ் இயர் தெர் இஸ் எ கொஷின் ஆன் reaction of acids this is the question asked on this topic in the model question paper the question is the gas liberated when metals react with dilute acid is and the answer here is option 4 hydrogen gas in my previous videos i have solved model question paper of karnataka tet 2022 you can click over the link here to check those videos now we'll see what are acids and their types then we will study reactions of acids acid is a substance that gives h plus ions examples hydrochloric acid acetic acid these are the examples now in water hydrochloric acid gives h plus as well as cl minus ion and acetic acid gives ch3 coo minus and h plus ions so both of these compounds they give h plus ions in water that's why they are acids there are two types of acids strong acid and weak acid acids which dissociate completely in water are strong acids examples for strong acid hydrochloric acid hcl sulfuric acid h2so4 nitric acid hno3 phosphoric acid h3po4 chloric acid hclo3 these are all the examples for strong acids dissociation means breaking down that the acids which completely break down in water to give h plus and other ion is called as strong acid for example hcl will give h plus and cl minus ion in water say if there are 100 molecules of hcl that is present all the 100 molecules will dissociate to form h plus and cl minus ions in such case the acids are called as strong acids weak acids are the acids which do not dissociate completely the acids which do not dissociate completely in water are weak acids examples for weak acid are hydrogen cyanide hcn acetic acid ch3cooh and benzoic acid c6h5oh so if i consider acetic acid in water it dissociates to form ch3coo- and h+ these acetic acid molecules these acetic acid molecules do not undergo complete dissociation that means if 100 molecules of acetic acids are present then only 40 to 45 molecules may dissociate always 100 percent molecules will not be dissociated and in that case the acids are 
weak acids now we will discuss about reactions of acids first reaction is reaction of acid with metal when acids react with metal salt is formed when acid reacts with metal salt is formed along with the liberation of hydrogen gas for example when zinc granule reacts with sulfuric acid zinc sulfate salt is formed along with the liberation of hydrogen gas whether the acid may be strong acid or it can be weak acid but the product formed when it reacts with metal is always a salt with the liberation of hydrogen gas here is a test how you can check that the liberated gas is hydrogen when the liberated hydrogen gas is brought near a burning candle it burns with a pop sound so here you see burning of hydrogen gas with the pop sound tells that the gas liberated is hydrogen so this reaction is very very important this question has been asked in model question paper it's only hydrogen gas that burns with the pop sound no other gases burns with pop sound so therefore the test is a proof that hydrogen gas is liberated during the reaction between metal and acid next reaction is reaction of acids with metal carbonates and metal bicarbonates when acid reacts with metal carbonate or metal bicarbonates the products formed are salt water and carbon dioxide so here the gas evolved as carbon dioxide example for this reaction when hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium carbonate na2co3 is the formula of sodium carbonate sodium chloride salt is formed along with water and carbon dioxide as by product effervescence is observed during the reaction which tells that carbon dioxide is produced when hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium bicarbonate sodium chloride is formed along with water and carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide is evolved with effervescence and the evolution of carbon dioxide is tested by using lime water test the carbon dioxide gas which is evolved when the acid reacts with metal carbonate or bicarbonate is passed to lime water its formula is caoh twice it's calcium hydroxide lime water is colorless calcium carbonate is formed just milky white in color and this test tells that the liberated gas is carbon dioxide so here in the image you can see the colorless lime water after passing carbon dioxide gas it turns to milky white and the product here formed is calcium carbonate which is milky white in color and this test confirms that the gas evolved as carbon dioxide during the reaction between metal carbonates or bicarbonates with acid 
नेक्स्ट रिएक्शन इज रिएक्शन ऑफ एसिड्स विथ मेटालिक ऑक्साइड्स एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर मेटालिक ऑक्साइड्स आर सोडियम ऑक्साइड मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड एक्सेट्रा वन दीज मेटालिक ऑक्साइड्स रिएक्ट विद एसिड्स सॉल्ट एंड वाटर आर फॉर्म एसिड रिएक्टिंग विद मेटालिक एसिड सॉरी मेटालिक ऑक्साइड्स टू फॉर्म सॉल्ट एंड वाटर एग्जाम्पल रिएक्शन ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड विथ कॉपर ऑक्साइड टू फॉर्म कॉपर क्लोराइड विच इज ए सॉल्ट एंड वाटर सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड रिएक्टिंग विथ सोडियम ऑक्साइड टू फॉर्म सोडियम सल्फेट एंड वाटर दिस आर द एग्जाम्पल्स for the reaction between acid with metallic oxides the next reaction is reaction of acids with bases reaction of acids with base is also called as neutralization reaction and a large amount of heat is liberated during reaction of acid with base and it is exothermic reaction the reaction between an acid and base is exothermic reaction when acid reacts with base salt and water are formed as an example when hcl reacts with sodium hydroxide which is a base sodium chloride and water is formed when sulfuric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide sodium sulfate and water is formed so these are the examples for reaction of acid with bases and the product formed are salt and water during the reaction large amount of heat is liberated and the reaction is called exothermic reaction if you could recall the reaction between acid and metallic oxide the products formed were salt and water the same product is formed when acid reacts with base so here you just note that these metallic oxides are basic in nature means they acts as bases i'll end this video here in the next video i'll be discussing about base and reactions of bases thank you for watching like and share the video if the contents provided are useful to you subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the first time do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos